Good morning, friends. Always wonderful to have a chance to share a bit of good coffee and good word with y'all. So I'm kicking this coffee this morning. Ooh, that's what I needed. A good swift kick. <laughs> You know, we're um, going through a, um, actually it's kind of unusual, I got kind of some overlapping Bible studies, if you will be, where we're going through um, Pastor Shane Bishop's book, That's Good News, so we're doing that online here, and in the uh, Sunday school classes at my Marksfield church, and at the Bunky church, we're doing a study on Wednesday nights of um, I Am a Church Member, the book by um, my friend Tom Rayner. And but there's there's an overlap between them because they kind of mentioned last night in the in the, the in the membership class and it was open up old members new members whether they've been in the church five minutes or fifty years and I kind of I asked the question I said well what does it mean to to, to be a um a, a member or actually to be a a participating member or a functional member I think was the term that we used. In there, and they say, well, you know, a functioning member, um, they they attend, they show up, they participate in, in the uh, worship services. Um, you know, they, um, they they pay attention during the service. They kept bringing these different things, and um, you know, and, and finally, someone's like, when they they tied them, like, okay, but I asked them, I said, all these things you're doing, I said, all of those things are things within the the church and within the building. What are the things that show a functional church member that are outside of the church building? Because they've been kind of looking at I've been focusing on uh, the Great Commission and on evangelism for so many months now. And I'm like, that's, that's, that's part of it. That's a huge part of it. Actually, that's what we're called to do. That's what I've told them. I'd be happy to stand in the pulpit and see 10 people in the whole congregation because I knew that everyone else was out uh, witnessing or sharing the word of God with someone, you know, doing the things that we're told to do in, in the the, the Great Commission, and I said so they they are overlapping the the church membership and the uh, responsibility of evangelism, you know. Um, Pastor Bishop had said something at one time. He said that evangelism is the reproductive system of the the church body, you know, of of, of Christ's body. And it's true, that's the way that God has chose for us to be able to gr to grow the church. So again, that is where the membership comes in with the tie into evangelism. And he also mentioned something today um, in the chapter we're reading, come by the, the Ping Life, P-I-N-G. Uh, that's actually the name of his new book out, too, and read that. But Ping stands for Power and Noticing God. And that so looking and finding and seeing God in those opportunities that we may not have originally noticed. And that, that power in noticing God, it's not just noticing the things that God has put in front of you, those God moments, we call them, but it's also being acutely aware of the, the, the timing that God has placed for us. Power in knowing God and knowing God's timing and in knowing what to say. Some people say, well, I don't know what to say. Well, you know, Acts 1 8 is a scripture I want us to look at today. And Acts 1 8 is one you know, where God tells us, He says, Go ye and go ye, you know, you will. I'm sorry. He stresses, You will. It says, You will be my witnesses. And it says, You will receive power. And that's what comes in the Holy Spirit. And if you begin to read what Jesus tells us about the Holy Spirit, He says that the Holy Spirit will give you power, will give you boldness, but it also says He will recall to your mind those things which you have seen and heard. So that's how all of that works in. So I want to challenge you that in this overlapping between church membership and evangelism, make sure you're plugged into a good church. Make sure you are a functioning member of that church body. Uh, if you don't have a, a church to call home, I you know, challenge you to find us at Marksville Methodist in Marksville or at the Sanctuary Church there in Bunky. We would love to have you there with us. We'd love to have you join in with our Bible studies. Uh, if you don't have either one of those books, I'm a church member, or That's Good News, send me a private message. I'll make sure we can take care of you. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, I pray that we always be on the lookout for those moments that you've laid before us, Lord God, where we can be quick to be able to present the gospel, the good news to someone else. Lord God, give us that power and boldness in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Look, y'all know God loves you. you got to know by now that I love you. Go out there and make sure someone knows that you love them as well. And if you can share the gospel and the good news, and hey, even a cup of coffee, then it's even better. I'll see y'all tomorrow.